long linear line. It's always a delight to have you join us, Talk Sports. Here's a very good afternoon to you. Welcome to Sport Matters. On a Monday edition, I am Francisca Nwobudo. A lot of things we will be looking at today, especially there is a breaking news. Just stay tuned so that you will know what is breaking as we speak currently. On the show today, we take it from this one. Um, FIFA on the 20 Women's World Cup qualifiers puts an ode um, by um, CAF. Also, point per game controversy um, between LMC and um, River. United ongoing as we speak currently and we look at this one so Ganatra should have a final say with um, the national team invitation says a former um, Super Eagles player Mutsu Adekpo. Johan calls for backers um, overhauling. Uh, Jorgen Club plans for sabbatical leave um, once Liverpool reign is over in 2024. Will that come into play? All of this we'll be discussing in the course of the show today. And also, we we'll we'll move away from football. Let's talk about um, UFC this time around. Yes, um, Dana White um, believes that Israel, Adesanya, and Costa's um, um, fight on September 26th will be the fight of the year. Would you agree to him? All of this we'll be discussing in the show um, today. And in tennis to what number two, um, Simone Halle pulls out of um, US Open. We also look at um, the Europa um, fixtures for today and also the results um, for yesterday between Manchester United and Sevilla. All of this we will be discussing in the course of the show today. I am not alone in the studio. I am joined by um, Ola Sukomi um, Shubuwani. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Francisca. Good afternoon, viewers. Nice being here once again. And also, I also have with me no other person than um, Joel Wakego. Good afternoon to you. Good, good afternoon, to have Francisca. You on the show. Yeah, it's always good to be here. Good afternoon, viewers at home. Thank you for having us today. Definitely. Thank you so much for being part of the show today. Okay, let's move forward. But just to let you know out there that you too can be point of, uh, part of the game today. Uh, Part of the show, I beg your pardon, you can be part of the show by calling in. Um, a question will be put in front um, of your screen right there. You call us in and tell us what you feel about that, what you make of that um, question we're going to ask. And the question is, should Manchester City um, sack Pep Guardiola at this time? Um, what's, what do you make of that? Um, if you feel you need to call, the, 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 the number is right there on your TV screen, so you can call in and send in your own contribution. So quickly, let's start with this one. Um, FIFA on the 20 Women's World Cup qualifiers put on hold. We talked about this this morning, so I want to stick with you and get your own opinion, um, Joel, this time around. Do you think um, that FIFA has done something good? Well, uh, yeah, not, not bad because, um, you know, dates and all that has Kaffa, to be changed. Kafa, beg your pardon, yeah. not FIFA. Dates has to be, you know, uh, put forward, you know, because of the whole uh, pandemic. Not just the whole pandemic team right now, but preparation also. Mm. Uh, but because I think if you have to play the qualifiers, you know, with the day they have right now, some things are not prepared. So. But does it look like as if African continents are not being serious when it comes to footballing activities? Because we've already some football activities are ongoing in various um, across some. You wouldn't want to compare, you know, Africa and other part of the world, you know, concerning when it comes to you know, amenities, you know, um, medical kits, everything that has to do with the whole pandemic and why dates have been shifted. You know, this, there's no comparison. We just have to. Yeah, this has been put forward, but it's okay. It's not a bad one. So, I mean, it's all right. Anyways, he says it's all right. For me, I'm not comfortable with that, but he's, it is his own um, opinion. Different strokes for different um, folks in that one. Okay. It's not a matter of not being serious anyway, but, you know, you look at it in the angle of, just like we discussed in the morning, individual country not being ready. 
But you know, like what we've been saying over years is that the, this is just a knockoff effect of you know not having you know well, you know work class work class not you know, heated you know, by yes. just Africa. All Agreed. the people experienced is a global it's, pandemic. Yes, it is. And this is knockoff effect. Activities of, you know, are returning back. Yes, but it is just a, on the slope is. But it, it, it is just the knockoff effect of what we've been saying over the years that we don't invest in sports. You understand what I'm saying? And this we, is telling. This is it's telling us now. You know, it's showing mm -hmm. on all of our activities now. Because if you can imagine that a country like South Africa still begging, you know, beg FIFA to like, okay, please let us conclude our league. And you know, their request was granted. And Nigeria here, we can't even agree on how to end our own season. Mm. Mm. Well, it's a sad one. Let's see how that one um, pans out. But trust me, trust us from this um, deck that whatever um, the story is going to look like, definitely we will be unfolding to you about um, the World Cup under 20 um, that will be taking place in January. And also, if there is any other um, decision coming from um, CAF. Away from that, let's look at this one. Points per game and um, controversy continues to persist um, between um, LMC, that's the league management company of the Nigerian professional National Football League and also Reverse United. Remember, we did mention that this morning, and definitely we will be calling in um, the media officer of Reverse United to seek for his opinion to, to discuss with us what one or two things um, as respect to Reverse United. But before um, we get in, con in, in contact with him, let's quickly look at this one. Um, we mentioned this in the morning, uh, Sh um, Sh um, Shola, and we talked about it. Um, I want to ask, is it that league management company are not fair enough to Rivers United? It's, it, you know, it's just the, you know, the, the, the club believe that they are, they are hard done by it somehow because their expectation is to play in the CAF you know, Champions League. Exactly. You understand? But you know, being relegated to the CAF Confederations Cup by the virtue yeah. of the point per game you know, in, in, you know, method to end the league is not going that well with them. And they believe that you know registering their grievances over this issue is still you know within their you know within their uh, within the ambit of their rights. So agreed, but whichever way the league has to be ended somehow. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, but if, 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 if yeah, I was going to ask you, Joel. Okay. Um, I want to ask that: Do you see um, LMC overturning this um, decision? Because the instruction Is it that possible? came the instruction that came from FIFA. Look. You guys could play behind closed doors, like what we saw in the other league that ended. Now, like yeah, France, they just decided, they had a meeting and they gave um, PSG the cup. Mm. But we would have played behind closed doors just to, like, I mean, elevate this whole this, this, that, and all and that. Well, it would have, have been possible. The time has gone now. Yeah, the time has gone. Yeah, we are exactly. Because, because <laughs> the first, was, first was PPG. Yeah. Then they talk about a, a bridge system. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, but right now, yeah, it's, it's, it's the PPG, this and that. But I don't blame Real United. At the end of the day, they have to go to court. I'm sorry that, but playing the cup. Leon, Leon went football. to court. Leon went to court and you know cut through it out because because if in a twenty in a exactly. twenty team league and right yeah. now in a twenty team league and you are saying because aside they, from they aside from the Champions League that they are playing now they are in the semi final already. Yeah. Leon came in seventh on the table. They are out, totally out of Europe. Mm -hmm. You understand? So they went to court by virtue of that. And they're like, okay, we are not, we are not pleased, we are okay. not pleased. And cut through it out. Right. Yeah, All because right, I mean, it was, it, it was unanimous, I mean, decision. Yes. All right, guys, just a quick one. I've been I'm told that the um, media office of Rivers United is here with us live in the studio via phone. Hello, good afternoon to you, Sammy Wajia. Hello, good afternoon to you. Hi. Hello, can you hear us? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Good to be with you. Yes, good afternoon. Just a quick one. Um, tell us what is happening. The whole Bruhaha in River State, as we speak currently. Sorry, that was a bit strange. Can you repeat what you just said, please? Okay, I said just quickly tell us um, about, um, we are talking about the point per game and we are talking about the decision um, that LMC took and um, at this point in time I want to ask, what is Rivers United, what do they intend to do as the PPG verdict? Well, Rivers United has made its position in this matter officially ready and uh, we've made it public. Rivers United believe that as a result of that correspondence, released the Apex Football Governing Body in Nigeria, the Nigeria Football Federation, on the 10th of last month, 
the points per game doctrine will be used in determining the clubs, three clubs that will represent Nigeria in inter-calf club competition from last minute Nigeria professional football. Mm. The calculation is simple. When I say calculation, I'm talking about the PPG calculation. Mm. And the league was top. Mm. And uh, by the number of games played by each club. Once that is done, River United and Inumba will be tied in second place, 1.8. And when that, is, when that happens, you look at the next tiebreaker as a consecrated, for lack of a better use, by the rule book of the league management company. And it shows that the first tiebreaker is going different. So if we do the same average calculation, River United will have 0.52. And Enyimba will have 0 0.50 as far as those defense at the tiebreaker is concerned. So the position of River United is very clear. Based on the points per game doctrine, which the Nigeria Football Federation, the Apex Football Governing Body in, in the country, uh, stated will be used in determining the three clubs to represent Nigeria in the capital competition next season, River United is actually in second. Okay, we learned that um, in respect to this, that Rivers United um, has an option of going to Cars. How true is that? Well, like I mentioned earlier, Rivers United has made its um, official position known to the public. We intend to explore all avenues to get justice. We'll start domestically. If we don't get justice, we will explore the avenue provided by the Confederation of African Football. We're willing to go to FIFA. And if we still do not get justice, which is that, that is, we will go to the court of arbitration for the court has in the land to change. Okay, um, finally, before we let you go, um, Sami, um, your general manager, the person of OK Palako, the general manager of the team of the club, says the decision wasn't fair enough. Do you share the same opinion with him? Can you repeat what you just said? I didn't get the last question. Okay, I said your general manager, the person of OK Palaku, um, that's the general manager of the club, says the decision taken by the league management company wasn't fair enough. Do you share the same opinion with him? You said he said the decision taken by the league management company was not fair enough. Do you share the same opinion with him? What, what decision was because he talking about? He was, because in, the meeting, he was in the meeting what that was held um, together with the Nigerian Football Federation and also the league management company, where that decision was taken, that's the um, point per game. And he said that was not fair enough. And I'm asking, do you as well share the same opinion with him? OK, I'm not getting you saying it, but it's this is what I would say. I wasn't privy to the conversation you had with him, uh, but if I get you clearly, you are saying that he said the decision taken by the league management company isn't fair. Now, the decision uh, in this context, I want to believe, is the release of a table by the Nigeria, the league management company, which put him back in second place and reverse United in third place. Exactly. If that's the case, then like I, like I said earlier, River United has made its official position clear based on everything i said earlier based on the decision of official correspondence released by the nigeria football federation we believe that the calculation is simple ppg will be used that's what the nsf has stated and if that is used rivers united believes that she not a but will be the second club uh, to represent nigeria in the cap champions for the city Sammy. Okay, my colleagues here have some few questions for you, please. Sammy, are you there? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, does the 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 table after the PPG have been uh, 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 you know affected to use you know to calculate the point by you know by game to to conclude the table? Was it different from the one that you calculated? Sorry, let me. Or? Let me sorry, let me interject. I can. I can barely um, hear what your colleague is saying. The line is not very friendly from that end. I can't um, hear what he's saying. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Can you hear us now? I will hear you. I was saying, but I didn't get you. Especially if it's going to be better. The line is okay. Well, I guess the line has just not been fair enough uh, um, this time around. OK. Um, please, can you go ahead, um, Sukomi? Is, it, is, is your final table different from the one 
being released by the LMC. That's just I want to, you know, that's the only thing I want to know. You know, you, you can you can release yours, you can release your own final table after the PPG you know uh, issue, release it to the media. Let's see what is coming from the LM, uh, LMC. If if there is good, if there is any discrepancy somewhere, then the public will know that. Okay, this is what this is what we do. Like I said, I didn't I wasn't looking at the analytics. Uh, Francisca, can you explain can you explain what your colleague said and can you explain why we said what? Mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. I think we'll let you well, go. I think we have to let him go because the, the line seems to be breaking. Not yeah. really clear, clear, so we can barely hear um, him and also we can barely have that conversation with him. But whatever the case is, definitely however this issue does... Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I'm, I'm right to say this, but I don't think that's a very intelligent question. Um, I don't know what you mean by my table. Like I stated earlier, no, I, I'm, just, I'm just I'm just concerned about I'm concerned about the analysis you made because you in, your, in your own analysis you said Rivers Rivers United will be ahead of Ayimba and and LMC Hello. are saying different thing. Hello. Hello, Sammy. Thank you very much for being part of the show with us. Thank you so much. All right, um, definitely we'll continue to manage the situation and also when there is a need um, be for us to speak with him, definitely we will speak to him and also enforce when a lot of decision is being made by um, the league management company. And also, let's see if the Nigerian Football Federation as well have one or two things to say in respect to the... Okay, let's quickly take a short break. We'll be, we'll be back shortly. Sport Matters continues. <laughs> 